Hi, we're Anita and Al Adventures. Join us as we show you some of the amazing food we had in the different Italian cities we visited. We will also take you along for a Rome Street food tour and the food hall in the Roma Termini train station. And no, we aren't reviewing the airline food, but Ita Airways food and coach was tasty. Imagine having breakfast in front of the Pantheon. Or having lunch in front of one of the seven wonders of the world, the Roman Colosseum. Lunch consisting of delicious pasta carbonara and pizza. On another day, having a delicious lunch of pizza and rigatoni before going on a three-hour guided Vespa tour of Rome. How about hopping on the bullet train from Rome to Naples to have once again some pasta carbonara and some bruschetta. Look at the deep red color of that tomato on the bruschetta. Delicious. In Tuscany, from our Airbnb, lunch with roast pork. Porchetta roast pork sandwich. My mouth is still watering. Another meal at a local family restaurant in Rufina with the freshest caprese salad and the most delicious pasta and dessert we will ever have. While in Florence, we stop at a sandwich shop called Ad Al Atlantico Pinayo. The long line in front of the store shows the popularity of these sandwiches and boy, were they delicious. American beef jerky, but it's not beef, it's pork, and it's burger. This is like sun-dried prosciutto, which is the tie of the beef, with a little bit of salt and chili. Usually they comes in long strings. Then you have for salami. The first one here, typical salami from Roma, a little bit spicy. That's a little bit of chili inside. Second salami, salami with Barolo wine. So there is red wine in it. Never had anything with truffles like this. I'm gonna try the pork jerky. Delicious. Good lord. It is like pork jerky. Spicy. This is the spicy. It's good. Yes, you know it's good with the cheese bowl. That's why you find them where you find the pizza. Okay? Mm -hmm. Can be a bakery like here, can be a restaurant. <laughs> called the nasone. Hola. Naso means nose. Nasone, big nose. As you can see, it's just an artichoke. There is no butter, no breading, no flour. Fried. It's an artichoke deep fried in oil twice. twice. Salt and pepper on top. Deep fried artichoke leaves that you can find in the Jewish neighborhood, also known as the Jewish ghetto, in Rome. I don't know what I think of it. <laughs> flavor, oily. It doesn't have any flavor except for the salt and pepper. It's not bad, it's just good. 
So we just walked into the Jewish quarter. It's in a, an area of Rome called Rastevere. It's about a four block section. And our guide was telling us that in 1943, Italy changed their alliance and they sided with the Allies. Hitler didn't like that, so he invaded Italy. And in this Jewish quarter, they rounded up all of the Jews and all of the Jews that were rounded up here on July 16, 1943, wound up at Auschwitz. So in front of every house, there is a remembrance stone that shows the person that was, that lived there, their date of birth, and the day that they were arrested, and the day that they died in Auschwitz. So our tour guide just told us that in this building, Julius Caesar was killed. <laughs> Correction, he wasn't killed in this building. He was killed down there because that's where ancient Rome was about five or six meters below us. It was in a structure that existed a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago. Forno is Italian for bakery. And this is one of the oldest in Roma. This is here since 1824. Now, I know outside of Italy, mostly in the US, bakery are mostly for dessert. But here bakery are for everything that is baked. So dessert, bread, Mostly pizza. So here you're going to have the best Roman pizza around, okay? Do you want to try with the pizza? A little bit of Italian beer. <laughs> Hands up who wants the beer. Uno, due, tre, quattro, four. Not for you? No. Okay. So with me here, there is a bit of line. There's a bit of about five minutes I'll be here with the beer and the pizza. Rossiola, and I'm going to try the pizza Roma. Red pizza, no cheese. The crust is really crunchy. It's good. Like a margarita pizza. Yep, that's good. At a very famous pizza shop, Rossioli. And margarita pizza is what Rome is famous for with the cheese and tomato sauce. The tomato sauce is so good. It's delicious. Hey, let's get a Fonzie burger. So here we are at the train station because I thought it would be fun to come to a boot hall, not knowing it's at the train station, but we're still going to get something to eat. And what's the name of it? Mercado Centrale. The food hall is at the Roma Termini train station. We got pizza by the kilo, which I was wanting to do. So you go up and they weigh it and they charge you by the kilo. I got some kind of amazing mushroom meatball, but it almost has like an Asian meatball flavor. And I don't know what Al got. Mort mortadella, capricorn, tomatoes, ricotta cheese. Spotted it from across the food hall. How light and fluffy that is. Wait, 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 zoom in. Oh my gosh. And then it has a little bit of crystal sugar. And then just for more fun, chocolate hazelnut. I love Italy. All right, I'm not sure what to call this, but can you zoom in on it? It starts with an S. It has a lot of consonants and a lot of vowels. S M O G L I A T L E Smogliatelli. Let's try it. <laughs> you always take such a big bite. It is very good. Now I need a cappuccino. <laughs> just happened to pick the only restaurant here that doesn't have any pizza. Instead of Napoli pizza, we're having french fries. Wah, wah. 